Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaito and we are here with another HBM mod tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at making a chemical plant. Okay, so let's get started on making this chemical plant. I've already found all the resources that we need for this project. There's some that we haven't made and we'll go through the process of making them. But to save time, I have pre-made some of them and the last one of these we will build from scratch and it includes that one in the building process. Alright, so we're going to need paper and some dye. Alright, so we need to make a chemical plant. I believe we should only need the one template, so let's find out. Where's my little helpful little book? The template folder. There it is. Alright. I believe now we have everything. So we need chemical plant template. There we go. And it is going to be on. Gotta find what page it's on. Okay. Let me make sure I didn't pass it. There it is. I did pass it at least once. Alright, it is on page seven. So let's come throw this in the machine. Okay, so we need eight steel ingots, six copper plates, two small steel shells, four steel tanks, one big shell, 16 red copper wire, three tungsten wire, four enhanced circuit boards, two advanced circuit boards, eight insulators. All right. We'll start by just putting in the ones that we have. Um, two small steel tank. We haven't made those yet. <laughs> Red copper wire. We already have that, and we already have the tungsten. And there we go. I believe that's all we have made right now. So. Let's start with the small steel tank. All right, just plates. Bam, bam. All right, two small steel tanks, two small steel shell okay good I made the right thing Whew. okay four steel tanks okay six titanium at the top and bottom. Okay. So 
So go like that, split that. That side and up that side. Need one, two, three, four. How many of these again? Four. Okay. Huh. I think I might have uh, miscounted when I uh, got everything ready. Unless there's something else that uses a large amount of those, but I don't think there is. Alright, so now we got our four st steel tanks. What is next? One big steel shell, which I believe is just three across the top and three across the bottom. Sweet. There we go. Okay. Now we need we already did the wi copper wire and the tungsten. Alright, so now we're to the advanced and enhanced circuits. So I made these ones earlier, so I'm just going to put those in. And now we're going to go through the process of making one from scratch. So first you have to make a s basic circuit. Alright, so you use the enhanced circuit to make the advanced circuit, and you use a basic circuit to make the enhanced circuit. You use a basic circuit assembly to make a basic circuit. What is basic circuit assembly? Basic circuit assembly is one aluminum wire, one redstone, and one steel plate. totally just did that in the wrong order. There we go. Now that is our basic circuit assembly. I'm gonna have to grab another piece of paper and another thing of die. Just plop those in our inventory for now. Alright, we need basic circuit. Alright, so if we throw this, found a conflict. Alright, thankfully, I actually have two of these. Alright, so we'll throw the battery in there and hopefully it's got enough power to do something. Alright, I guess we'll see if this works, right? Whoops, I swapped papers. Alright, so one basic circuit gives us one ba one basic circuit assembly gives us one circuit, basic circuit. Alright, so that should start processing and thankfully we had enough power to do that. All right, so basic circuit. To make an enhanced circuit, we need the enhanced circuit template. And I assume we're gonna need the advanced one as well, okay. So let's just make both those templates real quick. Oh, passed it. So bam. 
and bam. Alright, so we'll swap this one out now. Go to the enhanced circuit, which is the next one on our list. So we need one of those. Copper, one copper, no, the six copper wire, and four quartz powder, and one copper plate. Okay, so copper plate. And notice that it didn't say red copper. So this is just copper wire. I believe the copper wire you get from industrial grade copper. And then we need quartz powder. If you watched yesterday's video, the I believe second video, we went over the shredder. And basically you can put anything in here, ex for example, quartz. And that will give you quartz powder. Relatively easy to get quartz if you go to the nether. Alright, and that will start making our enhanced circuit. So we're just going to plop that back over here, pull this out, put that down. Right, that was the right one we wanted. Yes, advanced. So this is that was how to make the enhanced circuit. Now if you need to make the advanced circuit, you f just keep following the recipe. So now it wants six red copper wire, not copper wire, but six red copper wire. Four gold power powder and an insulator. Okay, so insulator and let's come back over to the shredder and shred up some more uh, material. Alright, so now the gold is being shredded. And it is working wonderfully. Alright, should put this in and it, yep, there it goes. Uh oh. He ran out of power. I will be setting up a uh, power grid in one of these episodes so all these machines are will be organized nicely so I'm not just w running around with my chicken with uh, running around like a chicken with its head cut off during the video trying to find where what machine is what box is where all right so now we got our advanced circuit and I believe that was the last thing we needed so now we can put this in here and it will start crafting our chemical plant. Here we go. We'll put the... Gotta find a place to put it. Alright. Not enough room. So if you place something down and it breaks like that, this is a very important thing to know. It just means there's, it thinks there's too mu not enough room, even though grass breaks when you place things down, some of the things are a little touchy about it. So just make sure you have a wide open area that's tall enough for the equipment that you're putting down. Alright, so this is the chemical plant. You can assign it different intakes which will result in different outputs by using the chemical template whoops let's see is it just these yeah i think it should be
Anyway. If you... Let's go find that. Alright. Alright, so... Ah, here we are. These ones here at the back are the templates you need to make. So let's see, what's one I'm going to be doing? Alright, so one of the ones we'll be doing in one of the next episodes will be this light oil processing, and that gives you diesel and kerosene from your light oil. So, I guess that is all for this video. Thank you for watching.